welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. We'll be here with you every day throughout the COVID-19 emergency. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. It's good to see you. Today is Friday, October 9th, the Friday before Proper 23. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. We begin with a lighted candle. A candle burning in the darkness is a powerful symbol of hope. We light this candle as a sign of our strong hope that God is with us no matter what comes. The candle also reminds us that Jesus said we would be lights for the world. We're called to live generously and graciously, taking care of one another in the name of Jesus. Please join me, if you'd like, in lighting a candle in your own home now. Let's pray. Lord of the feast, you have prepared a table before all peoples and poured out your life with abundance. Call us again to your banquet. Strengthen us by what is honorable, just, and pure, and transform us into a people of righteousness and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Now we turn to the pages of Holy Scripture. Today our readings begin with Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He takes me to lush pastures. He leads me to refreshing water. He restores my strength. He leads me down the right paths for the sake of his reputation. Even when I must walk through the darkest valley, I fear no danger, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff reassure me. You prepare a feast before me in plain sight of my enemies. You refresh my head with oil. My cup is completely full. Surely your goodness and faithfulness will pursue me all my days, and I will live in the Lord's house for the rest of my life. We continue in the prophet Isaiah, the 22nd chapter. At that time, you looked for the weapons in the house of the forest. You saw the many breaks in the walls of the city of David. You stored up water in the lower pool. You counted the houses in Jerusalem and demolished houses so you could have material to reinforce the wall. You made a reservoir between the two walls for the water of the old pool, but you did not trust in the one who made it. You did not depend on the one who formed it long ago. At that time, the sovereign master, the Lord who commands armies, called for weeping and mourning, for shaved heads and sackcloth. But look, there is outright celebration. You say, kill the ox and slaughter the sheep, eat meat and drink wine, eat and drink for tomorrow we die. The Lord who commands armies told me this. Certainly this sin will not be forgiven as long as you live says the Sovereign Master, the Lord who commands armies. Finally, in the letter of James, the fourth chapter. Adulterers, do you not know that friendship with the world means hostility toward God? So whoever decides to be the world's friend makes himself God's enemy. Or do you think that the scripture means nothing when it says, the Spirit of God caused to live within us has an envious yearning, but he gives greater grace. Therefore it says, God opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. So submit to God, but resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and make your hearts pure, you double-minded. Grieve, mourn, and weep. Turn your laughter into mourning and your joy into despair. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will exalt you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now that we've dwelt in God's word, let's take some time to pray together. I'd like to invite you to pray out loud with me. Don't be embarrassed that you're praying with a video screen. I'm praying with an empty room. And yet, 
Despite the strangeness, our technology is joining us in prayer right now, no matter when or where we are. So in that spirit, let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Let us pray to the Lord, who is our refuge and stronghold. For the health and well-being of our nation, that all who are fearful and anxious may be at peace and free from worry. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the isolated and housebound, that we may be alert to their needs and care for them in their vulnerability. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, and all in any kind of need or distress, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For a blessing on our local communities, that our neighborhoods may be places of trust and friendship where all are known and cared for. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Each day, I like to share with you one good thing, a bit of hopeful news, a moment of beauty, a tip to help you through the day. On Wednesday, I shared with you a fantastic quarantine performance by a virtual handbell ensemble. But what happens if you've got a whole bunch of bells and only two people to ring them? Well, if you're talented and you have a lot of time on your hands, it might go something like this.
watching. You can find a link in today's program notes. And that's one good thing for today. Do you have a good thing that you'd like to share with the world? Send us your photos and videos by going to bit.ly slash mygoodthing. And share your tips and stories with at Pastor Schaefer on Twitter. I can't wait to hear from you. And that'll do it for now. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with us today. We hope it's been a blessing. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. Stop by and visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org, and please consider making a gift to support our ongoing ministry. You'll find our PayPal address in the program notes. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.